everyone, Bria here from Etched Actuarial, and today I'm going to conquer the question of how to fit studying into a busy schedule. Because I know it can be really difficult when you're a full-time student or working full-time to actually be able to find the time after work or after school to get your studying in that you need to do for exam P and FM. Because I'm sure you've heard 300 hours for those exams is what many people recommend and it, it almost feels impossible to fit those hours in sometimes when you have so many other things going on. So the first thing I recommend you do is to commit to studying for this exam. You have to make this exam a priority for you and that means officially committing to writing the exam and make yourself accountable. So one of the things I've found in my study strategy program is that when I give people specific tasks to do each day for their studying, it really helps them focus and it puts this deadline on studying. It, it Psychologically, it just makes it happen for people because they know that that needs to be done and someone's going to be there checking in to see if they've done what they said they were going to do. So when you make yourself accountable to someone else, studying just gets done so much faster and you'll suddenly find that time just comes where time comes up in spots where in the past it wouldn't have because instead you'd spend time checking emails or Facebook or maybe you'd take an hour making dinner rather than half an hour but when you know you need to get something done it it changes everything so you'll fit it into your schedule that way so if you've been finding that getting study time in has been a problem for you I'd highly recommend checking out my study strategy program because this will work for you too. It's, it's a psychological thing and it works for everyone. And one of the uh, other benefits is that it just makes your study time so much more focused because you know exactly what you need to do during that time and it, when you know that you don't bother checking Facebook, you don't bother email with email, you just focus on the task at hand and you know that once that's done, you're done for the day. So making studying a priority is super important and that doesn't just mean with your time, but it also means with your money. If it's really important to you, you're going to have to invest in, in like study programs and in materials that are going to give you the best chance of passing because you definitely don't want to have to write the exam again. And the last tip I have for you is to actually schedule your study time into your calendar. So one thing that I find really helpful is if I say that from 5 to 7 is going to be my studying time every single night, for example. And when everyone around me knows that, then it makes it a lot easier to commit to that. Um, I make sure that I don't schedule any appointments during those times. I'll specifically say, no, I can't do between 5 and 7, and it's, it's not an option for me. Um, and I'll just go up to the bedroom, close the door, and during that time, no one distracts me. Everyone knows that during 5 to 7, I just want to be left alone to study. And you have to do that too. You have to make it so that you're not going to work on school during that time, you're not going to watch TV during that time, you're not going to do emails, nothing. It's just going to be studying from 5 to 7 every day. So I hope those tips helped. Uh, if you're interested in signing up for my study strategy program, I'll leave a link in the description below and subscribe to the channel if you want to get more tips and trips. Tips and chips. Tips and tricks about studying. <laughs> See you later.